Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Graf the Giraffe. I am here with my co-caster, the Gaming Chef, as we are ready to kick off the pool play for Group A of the Contender Fort Collins Land, the final one of the uh, the season, essentially, for this land environment. We're excited to be here. And Chef, how are you feeling about today's group play and just all together having a, another land to cast together? Yo, man, it feels good to be with another land. You're there in person. I'm there in spirit. Uh, we're still here on the same screen. Loving it, man. Uh, land, land is just built different. The energy that's there, uh, these players, they got to bring the energy, and they can't let that uh, the negative energy that the other teams are pushing on them affect their play at all. They got to stay focused. They got to stay in the game. Speaking of in the game, I think we got one already. So let's talk about who we're going to see and get right into it. Yeah, let's absolutely talk about them. We have Zerf Simps going up against Ozone Esports. And I do want to let everybody know there has already been um, the first round of Pool A has been played. And the second one is currently being played out. And that's what we are hopping on into is Group A round two of this pool play bracket. Everybody does happen to make it. Nobody gets eliminated. No matter if you start off 0-4, 0-5, whatever the case may be, you will no matter what make it to the bracket play come later tonight and for Championship Sunday. But I think both of these two teams, they have relative, I would say, land experience. I know Scothy from the side of Zerf Simps. He's one player that I've had the pleasure of talking to at these events, and it's his first time competing in LAN, and I'm excited to see what he can do, get done on the stream. Yeah, definitely a good lineup there. Now, over at the side of Ozone Esports, we have Pope Quentin, we got Jay Reaps, we got Oddness, and Tower. Uh, I'm not familiar with these guys. I've seen them over on the Twitter, though, so I know that they are practiced up and ready to get it going. A little bit of rough start on the pool play, but I bet they are ready to take this next one. Let's just get right into it. You got the maps over there? Yeah, we got the maps, and it looks like we're already ready to load on it this map one but what we have is going to be hydro hotel hotel embassy and embassy to round it all out and this is a series that really could go all the way to a map five in just the way that i think the side of ozone they played their defending champs beaver new look they played them in the first round they lost in a 3-1 their search and destroy was on fire it was incredible and in particular it was jay reaps he pulled out the sniper and i think in a, i think three or four rounds he ended up finding uh one ace and then three kills he was lighting it up when it came to embassy search and destroy so when it comes down to this map too i think jay reaps is gonna be that player to really step up from the side of ozone yeah i do like the uh the sniper player you know people pulling that out every now and then the s and d when they're good they get it going uh, and I like the mix of the maps. It's not hotel the entire time. Oh, so that's cool. always good to see. <laughs> uh, I think what you say, Hydro is our first map. So uh, that's quite the spot to kick it off at. So uh, I'm excited. Let's, let's get it cooking. And this is a map that really is kind of funny, right? A lot of amateur teams don't really like to play this one because of how chaotic it is. And not to mention all the routes that you can find to either break uh, break a hill or hold a hill it's so difficult to do so in a lot of those positions but with these two teams kind of having some you know not so much experience they're going to take that 50 50 toss up they're going to allow that chaos and see who's able to thrive on in it and in particular i think it's going to be ozone just the way that they looked against the side of beaver's new look i think the first uh, map one that they went up against them they lost at 250 160 in their hard point it was a 250 110 because they went to a map four so it's kind of hard to gauge where this team is at but i think when you have a team that has a little bit more land experience than a team that doesn't you got to give them the edge and just in that regard alone yeah well that's some great stats especially put up against beaver uh from what we've seen beaver is absolutely insane at these land events it's always a little bit of a different team but it's always made up of some amazing land experienced winning players so you know to put up those numbers against them i definitely can tell that they are warmed up and ready to get put in a great spot for day two which we might get into later tonight we'll see how quickly this is going but it's it's going it's smooth 
a great land event so far. Uh, people already got the energy. I don't know how they're going to have Love their voice screaming like crazy all day, all night, and into tomorrow. Uh, let's talk about prizes here. It's a $2,500 purse for the winners to grab up. We got a $100 build coupon for Dark Fusion Systems Ooh. PC. And we have a free desk map for each of the winners. That's so many prizes. Each LAN event, we keep stepping it up. So a huge shout out to our sponsor, Dark Fusion Systems, for this event. More on those guys later. Yeah, more on that. I believe the number one team ends up getting $2,000 of that prize pool. I'm pretty sure second place does get 500. That's absolutely incredible. I love how you pointed out though, the energy that I've already heard today is incredible. But everybody, let's get on into it. We are loading up the map one. This is pool play group A round two as we have Ozone Esports going up against the Zerf Simpson Gaming Chef. Uh, we're, we're gonna. I'm gonna ask you right off the bat. What are your predictions for this series? It's got to come out. It's got to come into fruition. But let's get this one, everybody. We're kicking off the Colorado Contender Esports Arena LAN event here in Fort Collins, Colorado, as we are sticking with Tower. And he's going to push up to that left side of the map, but it's Mr. Anderson. He is also actually brother to Dakar, who's also competing in this tournament. And Dakar actually finished at a top two, so you know he's probably excited to see his brother competing at this LAN event as well. Kind of typical E1 fashion, everybody really just more fighting for map control, making sure they don't lose those P2 spots. Look at that setup right now. Oddness is there for the rotation, but he's getting collapsed on. He's winning some great battles, though. Just one left to go. The whole team of Ozone coming in to surround him. Can it set by Simp to get it done? Goes to peak it, can't get it. And there we go. That's a full on sweep now onto Ozone. It's time on that clock. And living up to his name, the Simp got simped as he was not able to hold on to that hill. And Tower, he is locking down the right side of the map. We'll end up finding two, and it will be a double trade. But look at the gunfight in the back. Scothy versus Oddness, and it will be Odd to come out on top. He actually rolled evens right there, and he's going to push it out to, it looks like, the left side on the map. And he's already thinking about that rotation. But look at number seven. Scothy is already ready for it, but oh, bad cover to the time. He can't even win the gunfight. And this is one for the ages in the backside for that spawn. But look at how many members are there from the side of Ozone. They are going to win the rotation and they're going to get the scrap. So that's a great job coming on in from the eSport boys. Yeah, Scotty in a 1v2 was not in his favor. Uh, Ozone has the setup and it's looking like Executioner in there trying to break up that Ozone defense. They're not really set up. They're kind of still getting in their Ooh. spots. But Oddness is for sure warmed up. There we go. They got the wall in place. Now the Simps have quite the uphill battle to get over to this. This is a difficult one to break. If you have your defenses set, you see their tower getting that AR downrange. Scotty trying to break in there. Going to get traded out. Jay Reaps is no going on here. Executioner trying to get through there. Able to get another one. This guy is not missing a shot. Try and get his team in there, but it is all for Ozo. Out of it. Yeah, not going to get much out of it, and actually none of it is going the way of Zeref's Simps because they find themselves in the pit a little bit early, but here comes the full rotation from the Simps side, and you can see it's going to be number five, Mr. Anderson. He's doing the smart thing and backing up, just trying to preserve his life, find at least one, and he does, and now he's going to take a dip, trying to look and do his best Michael Phelps impression. But Jay Reeves, this was a player that I was talking about. He is incredible with the sniper and search and destroy, but what can he get done in the respawn? And it already looks like Oddness is throwing down his cruise missile, and oh, he unfortunately oh. kills a team, and that's not what you want from the first kill streak of the series. 
Yeah, for sure. But it, it still sends a message because when it's in the sky, everyone kind of moves from their positions, tries to get towards a wall or under some cover. So that could have possibly opened up something, but it didn't look like the simps moved at all. They held this one down. And look at Jay Reeves trying to get in there, but he's going to get traded out immediately. The 1v1 action for the cleanup, 15 seconds. See Pope Quentin trying to get in there, but he gets answered up. But look how late of a rotation it's going to be on the back of Executioner. It gets wiped right out. And I think Ozone might have this next one with almost a 2-0 lead over the Simp. And that wasn't a bad hill for the Simps at all. You end up getting around 30, 35 seconds, and then you force the other team to invest that streak early. So that's job well done. They got a majority of it, and now they're trying to fight here in the generator room for this P5. Executioner, he's trying to lay down the law with that TAC-56. Scotty, he's looking cracked, but Jay Reefs, he will, of course, swing the sight, and he will knock him down, and it will be Mr. Anderson trying to be the last line of attack and unfortunately he will fall and so you're starting off from square one once again it feels like the side of the Zerif simps they, they haven't really had too much chemistry when it comes to getting a team break it's more of these individual moments so i think if they start to clean that up they'll find themselves in a good spot and they're coming away with the last 20. yeah i agree with that they're definitely more individually going after these and they do very well they get two three kills but it's not enough to get the whole team in there, and then they just get wiped off the respawn. So definitely try to get that teamwork together for the Simps, and I think that they can take it away. But Ozone Esports, uh, they had that great warm-up against Beavers trying to get in here. They see them all pushing everything together. They're always together. They always got the spawn in the right spot where they got to be, and they move towards it as a team. They'll lose two or three players, but they spawn in right behind them and get right back in it and overtake the Simps in kills. But that might be their downfall going into controller S and D, but we do have that S and D, so that's why I think we are still gonna see a full series here. Yeah, just with how even this map one is, it's really just that bare knuckle fist fight. They're, they're saying, hey, we are the better slay heavy team, but again, it doesn't necessarily matter on a map like Zarquads if when you find those kills, being able to capitalize and making sure you're getting that time. But look at Oddness. He has been playing out of his mind. 13 and 6, four kills in a row. And they are getting a lot of good time here on this P1. I think they got around 25 seconds. Didn't give any to the side of the synth. They have the full rotation. But I want to go over to Scotty's POV because he ends up finding one in the back. And now he's going to try to cut off any more reinforcements. And they might know he's here. Scotty, this is the play you have to make. And he's waiting for his teammates to line on up for it. And where is he going to decide to break on in from? And can he find the kills? Yes, he Ooh. does. And that play was made simply from Scotty. But unfortunately, the rest of his teammates will fall in the side of Ozone. They will hold on to the P2 for now. Yeah, again, what you brought up there. These individual players are doing great. But they're not able to put those strategies together to make it happen. They make their moves, they get it done, but no one's able to follow it up and capitalize what they just completed. So it's just it's just not going to work for them. They got to get that together. You see, they're on the hill. Uh, they're still two times up for Ozone Esports as they come in now. 70 points left. Uh, it's, it's looking pretty positive, but I think the Sims can come back if they're able to get any of these strategies working together. And now, see, they're starting to take their time. And this is this is going to be the first pick that they want. That is perfect. Exactly what they needed. Mr. Anderson waited for his teammates to come in through water. Finds another one on to Oddness. And Jay Reeps, can he stay alive? He will actually find one. And it allows Tower to come in through the back. But can he get much more? No, he cannot. But so is Jay Reeps. He is still alive. The spawns do flip. But now the side of the Ozone, they're holding it from the front. Yeah, at almost 200 now. Ozone's definitely looking good. Tower on that amazing double there, holding it down himself. Doing an amazing job. Gonna get snuck up there from behind. 15 seconds left though. Look at Ozone already on the next hill. Pope all the way down in the corner, ready for it. Gonna be on Mr. Anderson to try and get him down here, but Jay Reeves ready for it. Oh, and he gets that kill. That's gonna be huge. Look at that. Whole half of the map in their favor, trying to make their way over. Amazing, amazing setup again from Ozone. 
Yeah, and it was perfect. And I like how you pointed out how Pope, he was sitting all the way in the back. He threw up three Hail Marys, and guess what? The Lord answered his prayers with the hold and the rotation. But unfortunately, maybe too many of his players pushed out front, and guess what? The spawns come in the backside. Nobody was holding on to that spawn, and unfortunately, it will be an early break. And this was the time that the side of the Simps actually got the most points coming out of this P4 Trail Hill. And now Pope can he come out no the devil's work comes in from mr anderson and they should get the last 20 seconds but a full setup here is looking pretty good for ozone it's just a matter of can they hold it and scotty he's going to be left in a good 1v1 against oddness yeah it's still doubled up for ozone esports the simps have been getting the last 15 every now and then but they need these first 45 and they're just not getting them it's looking like they're trying to surround it they got ozone backed into the corner as they try to come in and wipe them out look like a nice team move they got a quick turnaround it's looking like mr anderson's gonna try and get that refill out for ozone esports a few trickling in we see tower able to get in there with the ar up close and personal oh my the heady off that's a full team wipe simps what he is doing out there that is not how you should lose this first one uh, they can't win off of this hill right here. Scoffy might slow it down. He's going to go all the way around. But uh, the Simps looking like they're not going to be able to do this now. Yeah, they might be able to come in and fight for the last few seconds here. And they all get that break. But again, like you said, it's just for the scrap. It hasn't been enough to be able to get them within striking distance. Mr. Anderson, and when it comes to the kills department, they're not far behind. They're probably only negative two or three, but it shows when you find those impactful kills and how much you are capitalizing on it. It just doesn't seem like the side of the Simps. A little bit of the nerves. The new land team is getting to them as they're not able to take that map one and Ozone. They pick up. That map one on that harp, Zarqua Hydroelectric, 250 to 143. That is exactly the way Ozone wanted to lay down that layer. Yeah, Ozone, amazing work sticking together. Uh, it's, it's absolute amazing teamwork from everyone. Look at Tower, 205, 22 and 25, not bad. The Hill Time, absolute legendary. Scotty got the 108 down there. Just needed more hill time from the simps. The teamwork wasn't really there individually. Everyone was standing out. I think it's a definitely a good warm up here as they get into placement for day two. Mm -hmm. uh, but it's definitely some work. They're gonna have to get back together, uh, get some communication down, see where they want people and how the positioning can help each other ultimately get that control of the point. As we go into S and D. Uh, communication definitely going to be what makes or breaks it. and guess what we're going on to everybody's favorite map the Breenberg hotel i'm you know if i didn't see a hotel this entire weekend i would have been okay with it uh, simply because the last time i think there was out of i believe it was 50 maps or something that i casted 32 of them for hotel and so granted <laughs> i'm not lucky to have that happen again but it is a map where you really know how to run it or you don't. And with this game being so late in the stage of, of the season, teams have really yeah. figured out how they want to play it. But again, it really comes down to how well you execute that plan. Hesitation, it means death. And again, just the way that I saw the side of Ozone play Beaver New Look on Embassy Search and Destroy, I imagine they're going to be just as good as Hotel. Yeah, I agree with that. Um, Ozone, uh, they, they were looking good, though. Tower, I'm liking the angles that he was holding down with that AR. Uh, I'm liking how well he plays objective. Uh, I'm not sure if he's going to be the bomb planter. Probably not. He'll be more of like a, an angles kind of guy. Uh, Jay Reaps, we'll see if that sniper comes out. Hotel's a little iffy on uh, pulling the sniper out, so we'll see. Uh, rotations are going to be huge. Uh, Scothy, I feel like he's going to be an amazing man to get some rotations in for his team if it needs to get done. Uh, and, you know, with S&D, if you're individually good, sometimes you can just take down the whole team of four. So uh, it's possible that the Simps do have a good fighting chance with how that first map went. But uh, just interested to see how it goes down. 
Yeah, there's those moments of takeover potential, right? Especially in those land environments. But again, it just kind of matters on your teamwork. I think that's what it's really going to come down to. You're going to take teamwork yeah. over that superstar player because he can't win every single map for you. And that's just yep. the biggest question mark that we all have for the side of the Sims is they need to start challenging together. Just wait a half a second. You can see they're right on the cusp of, of getting it down, that timing to perfection. But trying to figure that out in land is so much more difficult than trying to do it online. And not to mention, everybody's timing is so different. You always hear about what is different between land environment and then the online version. Is online, your home, you're sitting comfortably in your favorite chair. You have your controller. Everything's nice and warm. But when it comes that, to yeah. land, everybody, you know, the, the hype is there. People are yelling at you. you. You have the nerves. Maybe your hands are shaking a little bit. So you really have to just calm yourself down, play the game that like you would at home. I think that's kind of the biggest transition. Some people perform in land. Some people don't. And we're kind of show we're we're gonna see who is able to do that here. Yeah, and I know a lot of players bring their own controller. They get a little more feel of uh, at home, you know, still got the pizza rolls kind of jammed in the buttons a little bit. Get that get that nice gamer smell in it. It brings you home, right? Uh, but uh, like, like you said, the chairs, you know, the PCs, everyone's on the exact same thing, exact same monitor, same settings and everything. Game settings, they get to make their own. Controller gets to be their own if they brought one. Uh, you know, you, you just got to be good in every environment. That's what brings a regular player different from a land player. A land player is good no matter where he's sitting. He's at a friend's house. He's at an event, a large event, a small event, or at home. He just kills it and slays it. And that's 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 just the difference. They're just built different. And land, it, it just feels good, man. It just feels good. And it's yeah it's all about and this is what we love about the call of duty community i don't think anybody brings as much passion as the call of duty uh yeah, does <laughs> and not to mention the amount of trash talk that you hear the last event here in may it, it was quiet it, it was probably the quietest land event i yeah, have ever the seen one. and then coming in just a few days before this event started up there was so much Twitter beef going on, and yes. I immediately <laughs> knew this venue, it's gonna get loud, you're gonna hear it in the background. I already know during that first round of Group A, people were yelling, they were screaming at each other, and that's just the first series of the day, and people were already losing it. And I, I love to see that, and that's why I love to cast these, these tournaments, is because everybody is so passionate about it. And passion will win you some maps, some series as well, and potentially be able to catapult you all the way to the grand finals. Yeah, it looks like the game is loading in. See if that Twitter trash talk can continue in IRL. It's always different when they're standing right across from you. So uh, definitely put your thumbs where your mouth is. And let's get shooting here. Hotel s and round two here. We are Ozone versus Zerf Simps, and Ozone up 1-0. And I, I want to apologize to everybody right off the bat. I had some misinformation. So actually, the sixth team in the group, if you finish bottom of your pool, you are not making it to Championship Sunday. And if you finish in fifth, you end up in the loser's bracket. So that is, that's something you gotta keep in mind because both these two teams, they're 0-1 right now. So just getting one map on the board or one series on the board, that could mean the difference between you're going to Sunday or you're going home today. Yeah, that's definitely big. And you probably want that map to be against someone good that's gonna make it. You know, if you're top seed and you only lost one map, and you're that team and that's the only map you won, that's the difference between you showing up day two or not. So look at Jay Reaps already on the board with the sniper. We got Executioner in that 1v4. Ay ay ay, what a hard start, but that's exactly what you predicted here. Ozone with the hot start. Executioner able to get one, but look at all three Ozone sticking together. I'm not in his hand. Popped a Daddy, which was interesting there. So we'll see what we get done. Oh. Wow. Jay Good Reeves. Snipes, man. And I know, Chef, you I know how you feel about the snipers in particular yeah. on this map, if I remember correctly. If you are missing 
Two bullets Ooh. as a sniper. Chef's going to say, put that away. It's not working. <laughs> but if you're hitting two for two, I keep it out and let the good times roll. Because Jay Reefs, like I said, this was the player I highlighted. His sniper gameplay is second to none. And he's already showing it here early in that first round. Ozone. They want to keep this momentum. This is a great search and destroy team from what I have seen. And I have a feeling they have the potential to go the distance. It's just a matter of can they make the respawns be a little bit cleaner. Look at this kitchen push. That special. Nobody over there. Simp is like, wait, hold up. You mean they're all over here? So he's going to try and take this out. Oddness might peek out. Oh, he's, he's not even looking that direct. No one, no one read it. Okay, we got Executioner working his way around the back, trying to surround this, try to get in there, stun the doors open, see what can get done. They still have their tacticals, they still have their primaries, try and get those through the door. There we go, closes it. I love the jump there. Nobody in that corner, right off to the right, gets stunned out. Nobody in that kitchen yet. 20 seconds left, gotta get it cooking. Puffy trying to chef it up, he ran out of veggies. It's down to just power Ooh. and hope 2v2, one left. Hope, 10 seconds left. The bomb's going for the defuse. Hope has to just go for the bomb defusal here. Goes oh! for it. Oh! Dude, did he get it? Did he get it? He, oh! What a round, baby. Oh, my gosh. The moments you live for, and that is exactly it. Pope in the 1v2, he takes down the player who was watching over, and it looked a little close. I think Scotty just flew out at him and didn't hit those initial shots, but the Pope showing why he is still in the office and relative in today's age because he lays down the law as he finds two and the round. That's a big big win for the side of Ozone because I think if Zeros had that, they didn't really, I think, had a right to win that one because Mr. Anderson, uh, is, I think a player stopped shooting at him during that drop shot battle, so we'll have to keep an eye on that. So Zeros, they're playing decent. It's just a matter of can you get a round win on the board? Yeah, they were able to bully Jay Reaps out of his sniping spot, so good move on that. It's not about hitting him, it's just covering fire. Get him oh. out of oh. Oh, don't peek, Jay Reap. Oh my gosh, Mr. Anderson answering it back. But look at that, 1v3. Jay Reap's exactly where he wants to be. Uh, Anderson's looking to try and make some rotation here. But bomb not in his hand. It's pretty much what we've seen the first round from the Sims. One man left, no bomb, and no hope really to try and get it done as Pope's still sitting at that nice 4-0. And Mr. Anderson, I think if he finds Jay Reap, he'll find himself in a good spot. But look at where Tower is, and he should be able to find this. But oh no, Jay Reaps just sits in Yo. the corner. Do you call that a quick scope? I, I don't know. That was just an easy kill. He wasn't even looking at him. But again, he's just playing with his food. Kills. That's all yeah. he was. And exactly, and oh, I love that calling card. Velociraptors and grenades. I'm a big fan of it. But the snipe looking that much better. <laughs> And three rounds in a row for the side of Ozone. The Simps, they need to find something here. They need to get any type of energy. And right now, I think go to B site and test your luck. Four man push it. Oh, excuse me. It's Ozone. It worked the first time. I say do it again and try to just bully this team out of the point. Yeah, it's Senpai Simp sitting at the big old bagel. There we go, though. Gets that first kill. Love to see it. Great start, but trading it out. Jay Reeves. Oh, baby. Always getting them nasty Ooh. ones. Oh, missed two bodies. I think he didn't know which one to hit there by the time the trigger got pulled. Oddness, though, with the double. Again, again, again. Down to one player for the Simps. Big yikes. They got to get it together. They got to work together. They got to take trades. Let's see if Scotty can get it done now. 1v2. Bomb is down. He has to defuse it. Oh, Jay Reaps, the reaction time is next level. It, I know you stocked that G Fuel fridge, but it's got to be empty by now the way this guy's energy's at. Jeez. And, and uh, you know who he's reminding me of, Chef, a lot is the, the first time you and I casted together Morph on the Sniper back oh, yeah. in the February land. This guy is looking just as good. The man is 6-1 in, in four it, rounds. It's different, though, right? Because I feel like Morph... Played it like an AR, but hit him like a sniper. 
And Jay Reaps is like sniper in and out. He holds them angles and literally a sliver of your skin and he hits it immediate. The reaction time is like stupid. Like it's immediate. And I, that's definitely not where Morph was at. Morph was definitely more of a different player. But you know, he ain't here right now in front of us. So Jay Reaps is the king of sniping so far. And tower, oh, he sits upon the tower, and it was actually just the bracket of a nice HD TV. But oh, look at this man! No fear in his oh. eyes, Jay Reaps. That is five in a row. He's gonna get the information. No. Oh, he pulls out the pistol, dude. He should have had the sniper. He should have had it. He should have had that one. But now it's a one v one. These are the moments people live for. It's gonna be the simp versus the Pope, and wow, what an interesting battle. Because I'm sure oh there's a lot of lessons God. to be learned here. But I, th I thought if Jay Reeves had the snipe out, he had that kill. 100%. Oh, but yeah. Pope, he's way, playing way this Way to make slow. an introduction. Just enter the room with a face full of lead. Oh, my gosh. Jay Reeves, like, just opened the door and, like, just pulled the trigger and then aimed in. Like, the guy's insane. 1v1, bombs down. Wasn't ready for the rotation. So Senpai Simp can get it done. It's always one left for Zerif Simps, but thankfully for them here, it's just Pope, but it's not just, because he's sitting at a nice five and one. So let's see what he can get done here. And Pope had a lot of ground to cover, because he spawned on lit or sitting in the complete backside of the map, and oh, he didn't get that one onto Simp, as I believe there's a crack in the door. And is he gonna try to play this one? But yep, Simp, he doesn't need to challenge at all. Wait to seven and a half, and guess what? You got the round, and he absolutely does. A big Ooh. momentum shift. That is what the side of Zero Simps, they needed that one. And it was the Simp man himself who delivered. Yeah, <laughs> that's quite the aggression too. Didn't have many bullets left. He would have lost that one. But uh, good, good round there. Way to clean it up. That, that's that momentum shift. Just like you said, try and get it back in their favor. So they're all like, all right, boys, let's get it going. Let's cook them up. So uh, get that energy, you know, it's what land's all about. It's pretty much a battle of the energy. Don't let them bully you down. Pick yourselves back up. Get that G Fuel back in you. Keep that energy going. There we go. See the stats there up on the screen. Jay Reeves looking very nice at a 7-2. And, and get some more snipes down range. There we go. And the shots are coming out, but he was just, I think, trying to get a few lucky wall bangs. But it will be the Pope coming in with no. that first blood once again for the side of Ozone. Execution. Snuck he will take in. him down. And good shot, but Scott, he finds himself in a forward Ooh. position. Nobody watching that side of the map or nobody watching middle. Now quickly comes into a 2v2, and it's really just a 1v1 across the board. Tower happens to take down Scotty. So now it's up to Mr. Anderson to find himself in this clutch situation. Submachine gun in hand, and oh, he actually sees him. And Tower, mm. he gets that information as well. And it's really about how can you find an opening here to maybe get this bomb planter down. Yeah, I was feeling he could get the bomb planter. The teammate comes in, just gets away, no rounds. Here we go, fresh mag. Bomb does get finished up. Good teamwork here from Ozone. Oh my, what good teamwork. Because he was looking to pick that apart. Gets right in the god spot. Uh, if if Anderson ever had a chance, I think that it's it's closed by now. But maybe he could get some lucky shots in through here and get that bomb defuse. He just doesn't have enough time anymore. And I think once he does Agreed. find it, it's not going to matter. No, he thought he was going to pick up an AR. I think he just picked up more submachine gun ammo. And is he just going to hop the bomb? He's thinking yeah, about just it. Just defuse it. <laughs> the tower, he is watching over like the Eye of Sauron on that bomb site as Ozone find themselves one more round away from taking that 2-0 series advantage. And it really, again, just kind of comes down to a lot of these 1v1s. The the side of simps are playing really spread out. Nobody's playing for trades. So I think they need to start to get a little bit more close-knit. Again, though, they just really haven't had an answer for Jay Reaps on that sniper. I know Mr. Anderson had it out in the first two rounds, but it was just rendered ineffective for the most part. So they need to start sticking together a little bit more and getting aggressive. Nobody's gotten the bomb plant down relatively quick, I think, except for the side yeah. of Ozone. Yeah, they have not gotten a quick bomb plant really yet. I, I think it was what, that, that kitchen push off the start. That was pretty much the only quick one. It was just because there was no defense set up. So they just ran right through. 
Uh, and maybe it's just the defense has gotten better. They're not able to really get through anything. You can see here, I feel like uh, Zeref 6 should have read that there's oh. not much going on at B. Oh my gosh, the beautiful snipes as always. But like B's pretty much been free 99. Uh, Simps still haven't been able to read that. 2v3. Uh, Ozone gets this one. They're going to be up 2-0, and that is not where you want to be starting out this lane. And it's really going to come down to Pope. If he gets any Q or any sound Q, I mean, Dead Silence is there. Mr. Anderson, he's right trying to there. use his time as much as he can, and they might have just so slipped the oh, net. Oh, he can hear oh. Anderson. Is he going to get a timing? And oh, he does. Oh. And that is the bomb down as well. Executioner, he just has to go. I mean, you have so much to deal with. The Pope, he is oh, there. And Ozone Esports, they will take another easy map as they take down the side of Zero Sims 6 1. Wow, 6 1. So pretty much. Uh on the Zerf Simps team, you got to be able to win those 1v3s because that was every single round that they lost. Yikes, what a tough time over there. Uh, they was coming down to the, the teamwork, getting it together because the Ozone Esports seemed like every two players was like one player out there. Jay Reeps was kind of doing his own thing, but he was watching angles that his teammates no longer had to worry about. It's like the goal of the sniper. It's not a, always what you're hitting. It's just locking down that entire line of the map. No one can peek. And if there's anyone you're not peeking, it's Jay Reeves. Yikes, this guy is nuts. Not, like, don't even stand behind a door. Don't stand, don't walk. Don't even, just, just get out of the map. Just hold the grenade and get out of there because he's coming and he's going to snipe you. Now, modern day Chris Kyle for sure. But now we're heading on in to the control and we're going to be staying on the map of Breenberg Hotel and this is one that's it, hotel is just such a strange map to me now when it comes to controls because it used to be a very defensive heavy map but I think once teams kind of figured out how to maneuver it's you kind of favor the offense in a lot of those instances. If you get that A site, you, which is typically a 90-95% capture rate, you are going to put two minutes on the clock essentially for yourself to be able to work that B site. And I know a lot of teams, they favor once they get it, try to go all the way through the backside spawn. I'm not a fan of that. If you want, you can try have one player on the flank, but if you full team push the backside you're gonna spawn them towards either bottom steps or top bedroom and not to mention you're just gonna put yourself in a natural pinch so you really just kind of have to take your time and just having one player force them to search for you i think that's kind of what you really need to do and make sure that your that your teammates are winning the gunfights up front and once they do it makes capturing that b point just 10 times easier yeah, pretty much uh, what you're saying there. 3-1 splits is where you want to be. Get that one guy in a great spot. Uh, I've seen a lot of 2-2 two -two splits. They don't work pretty much ever unless all four players are gods because uh, you're outnumbered every single time because there's three somewhere. Mm -hmm. uh, and it, 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 it's, it's such a played map. Like, everyone knows how to play it. Pretty much how we just seen that S&D on Hotel. No one's really getting in those sneaky plays anymore because they've all been done. It's over. The map's cooked. It, it's it's done. It's out of here. Everything's textbook now. If you're not following the textbook, then you either got to be way up here or you lost. That's really the only options. You got to be someone like Jay Reeps who rips open the door and snipes you. And otherwise, you're playing textbook. And you just can't, can't go away from that. And you got to work as a team. Gotta make sure your coach got everyone together. Gotta make sure everyone got that practice in. Uh, and if you're Zerf Simps, you gotta make sure you win. Otherwise, that's it for this series. And they're in there. Let's see what they can get done. And they need something right now because map one wasn't relatively close at 250, 143, and then a 6 1 map two. If you go in getting 3 0 two series in a row, you are just not putting yourself in a good position to make it to that championship Sunday. And I want to let everybody know, so round this is currently round two of Pool Play Group A. And an update, it was actually ATK Gaming. They took down Vintage in a 3-0 fashion. So they currently sit at 6-0 in map count 2-0 overall. And then actually Pulse of Gaming with Llama 
and um, ended up going 3-0 against Beaver Mula, the defending champ. So they are also looking good as well. Beaver sitting at 1-1, one one, but it is Pulsive and ATK that are currently leading the lobbies. And in our game here, we just seen our first deaths from Ozone just now. Uh, Tower, Pope with a beautiful two kill lead for both of them. Uh, respawns in favor of Ozone positioning. Looking pretty good for the simps, honestly. They're able to hold them off, but Ozone trying to circle them out. It looks like it was a even trade across the board for offense on defense for positioning. It's looking like they went for a little more B, able to get one pick. A was pretty free for quite a bit of it, but they're just not looking for it. They want to get this B site, and I don't think Ozone's really given them any openings. I really liked, actually, what Simps did there. They still had a little bit of B control, but that one player who's sitting in top bedroom, that is exactly where you want to be if you're the side of Ozone. And they did end up team challenging for the side of Simps, but unfortunately, it just allowed the reinforcements to come on in through the front side. So B was initially open for a second, but then it was just swooped away from a player preserving his life, but already hopping on in to that A zone that you stated. One and six for Mr. Anderson. He needs to start finding a little bit more when it comes to the kills department. As Executioner, he has been playing phenomenal when it comes to the respawn. Scotty trying to snake pit, but unfortunately, he will get uprooted from that area, kicked out of the restaurant. But look at B. It's going by so quick because all the players, they overcommitted from the side of Ozone. Yeah, and let's take a quick look at lives. There's only two respawns left for each player. Uh, the time is running out. The uh, simps are counted out two ways now. They're going to have to go for the captures. Two ticks on each site. That's pretty much the only way they're going to win this one right now. One in eight. Anderson not looking great. His teammates all negative. No respawns now. Oh my goodness. Whole team wipe. They're going to have to capture A here. But Jay Reeves is not going to let it happen. That was a quick round right there. Oh, oh, oh no. This could actually flip on its head. It, it could flip on its head, but there's one player left at A, and who is it? None other than the Pope, as he lights up the rest of the players from the side of Sims. Eight and three for him to start, and that was scary. Again, they did it twice in a row. Ozone, they had all their players over at that A site, and guess what? A player spawned bottom um, bottom steps, bottom hallway, right next to that B site, and he was able to hop on in. So Ozone, if you're going back and looking at the VOD, you need to have a player stay home, watch over that B site. But again, you're looking at that kill feed, like you said, Mr. Anderson, one and nine. He's really been liking the homemade breadsticks, um, but unfortunately, he needs to get off and start making something a little bit more nutritious. As Jay Reeves, he comes on in with the beautiful trade. Ozone already putting the pressure through the middle of the map. 12 and 5. Four objective kills. The guys on the top of the board for both teams. Looking for the offense here. Going A. We got Tower on the five streak already. Looking to streak it up. He does get taken out there by Scothy shutting her down. But A is getting captured. Looking like a first tick right there. Everyone else starting to come in. Here comes the defense, but like I said before, you send two players, it ain't gonna work. They just get fed right into the meat grinder. They're out of there. Mr. Anderson trying to come in the back. Two and 11, looking for three bodies right here, but he's not moving. He's just staying there as he got secured. Gonna come in through. Senpai Simp is the only gatekeeper keeping them from getting into this spawn. Not where you want to be, but he does find the kill. Anderson finds his kill. He's just one player. Tower makes it through, and nobody is back there from Zareph Simps. And there comes the spawn, though, and he knows he's over there. Going to be another 1v1 battle for the back. As everyone else is just fighting the, the front end of Ozone on their regular spawn. And it was Senpai Simp. He wins that big 1v1 against Tower. And that's that's typically how you want to see it. You want to have one player try to push out the backside. But again, his teammates are not winning the battles up front. But Pope, he might have slipped the net and just hopped onto the point for a second. Unfortunately, it is short-lived. And look at this setup. This has been picture perfect from the side of Zareph Simps. And oh, I'm not sure if he heard that player in number eight. 
And I think he should right now. No, he doesn't. Jay Reeves, mm. he actually catches him out. And now that's three players down. And look at number three, Executioner. He's coming in off the spawn. Can he find that kill on to Jay Reeves? No, he wow. can't. Jay Reeves, oh, he gets no. two. And he can't have that happen. That's three players down. And make it all four. They could stack the hill. And this should be an easy offensive win for the side of Ozone. Zerf Simps was leading in kills, leading in positioning, leading in everything. And Jay Reeps gets in the spawn and traps them in that corner. And everyone else is like, we'll just walk right on in and sip our coffee on this site and we out of here. Ozone Esports 2-0 in control, 2-0 in this series. Ay, 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 Jay Reeps. You're looking good, man. You're looking good. Oh, and you just can't have that happen, right? I mean, he clearly was weak from the first gunfight, but again, this is just what happens to a team that doesn't have a lot of land experience. They get nervous. The shots aren't connecting as much as they would like to. And right now, you have two players sitting on the verge of double negative, one at triple negative, but Senpai Simp, he didn't necessarily have the greatest of map ones, but he's tearing it up in the map two. Scothy, he's just kind of been consistent, hasn't been having blow up games, hasn't been having bad games. And right now he's trying to push out the middle of the map. He will get caught out. And it just kind of feels like the side of Zerf Simps, they're, they're in a in no man's land, right? It doesn't feel like they know what they want to do. But actually, they're just going to triple stack this B site. And guess what? Ozone, they it. have to fly forward. But Senpai, he's watching the middle. And oh, he does get taken down. Yeah, I love this stack up here. You know, you got to have at least three on it. They pushed all four, trying to win their trades. Body for body here. There's the catch. All off to A. Hope Quinton is there to try and hold it down. Looking like Senpai Simp might try and come in from behind for him. Gonna be a full stack again from the Simps. They want to turn this one around. Lives are tied. Ozone Esports trying to get in there. Hold it off. There we go. Pope able to find a kill, but gets traded off. It's gonna be Tower trying to hold off this. But look at Jay Reeps doing what he does best. Coming in from the flank. Is he gonna go for the spawn trap? Probably not. We got all four up here. I get some bodies out. One that's gonna turn them all around. Now the rest of the team is gonna come in and wipe them out here, possibly, but no. That was a quick, quick round. Jay Reeves went for the great positioning, but just too slow for that one. Great four stack here. Uh a good round. Good round. That was surprising. They ended up getting those kills, and we're talking about being able to capitalize, make the most of what you get, and guess what? Once they found first two kills in the middle of the map, they just triple stacked that B site, and it was gone. I don't think Ozone was expecting their entire team to hop on into that point, not to mention they ended up four stacking that A site, so it really just forced JV's hand to really have to strike. He couldn't play for spawns. Unfortunately, he did find two kills, but just not enough teammate support because they were spawning all the way in the back of that B area. And already, first few kills going the way of Simps. It's Senpai, 17 across the board. The man is slaying out with the best of them. But so far, on the side of Ozone, they already have a little bit of that B pressure. It's just a matter of can they make it work. Yeah, they three-stacked it, and they all won their gunfights. Got great positioning. Now they locked up the wall. No way they can get down there. Pretty much uh, similar to what the Simps just did on our last round here. But is Ozone going to do it better, quicker, differently? It'll be interesting to see if Simps can counter their own move. But B is not captured. It is just a hair as he tries to pickle it in there. Executioner are going to fall there. Definitely the capture are going to go in their way. Off to A they go, but here's the D. On and on there, Jay Reeves trying to get in there. What can the Reaper get to? And Simp, my goodness, the man is challenging every single person that he's going up against. And you love the confidence that he's bringing to this Simp's team. And Mr. Anderson, he's starting to pick it up just a little bit. Unfortunately, he does die off screen. But Oddness, he's trying to work his way on in. And again, it's Executioner. He's just been the mainstay mm. for this team at the AR. They are valiantly 
holding on to this restaurant. They are making sure that it stays upright and not getting closed down by the health inspector because I see the trash can, trash can. It's a little bit rolled over in the backside freezer. Maybe a few rats scurrying around and it's the players from Ozone. Is Here comes the stack and this is scary. Number four, Simp, you gotta fly and you gotta go right now. You have to at least find one, but he shoots a little bit early. He does happen to find the kill and that could delay it just enough. He needs to find an opening. If this capture happens, it's all over for this series. Ozone Esports going for that final tick. Here comes the final push, but they're just too late. He hit the hit marker off the knife. There we go, right on screen. Wow, Ozone Esports 3-1. I thought the Simps were making a comeback there, but way too late did they find themselves. But hey, this is just for positioning. They're not out yet. You want to stay out of the bottom bracket, but uh, yeah, that, that one might just keep them there. So off to the next one. Off to the next one. Yeah, that's just unfortunate, right? You, you don't want to have that happen necessarily. It's a very difficult series to to lose. Now you're 0-2 with an 0-6 map count if you're the side of the Simps. So they, they, need, they desperately need a win, and it needs to essentially be a 3-0. But just all the teams that are here currently in this in this tournament, there's a lot of stacked players, stacked teams. There's really four or basically five to six contenders that I think have a good shot at making it to the chip. I won't say them now. I don't want to get anybody's hopes down <laughs> or hopes up or anything like that. But there's a lot of teams out here that really have that potential to go all the way and Again, it's a matter of when you heat up. And if you're able to start it off on Saturday and roll it in just to the beginning of Sunday, you're going to find yourself in the best possible spot to potentially make it all the way to Grands or at least get yourself a top three. But you know everybody wants just that big piece of that $2,500 prize pool. Yeah, and looking at the next match for both Xerath uh, and Ozone. They both have to play a 2 0 oh. team that have 3 0'd both games. Mm. That could be a loss for both of those teams. So, well, it's going to be interesting to watch. Uh, Ozone's going against ATK and Zareph Simps going against Pulsive Gaming. And like vintage has yet to win a map and beaver is tied up yeah it's in beaver sitting at one and one i think that's going to be the match that we're going to hop into next it will be beaver versus vintage i'm not sure if they're currently fighting that one out so we'll give you a little bit more update but everybody it's been a great first series of the day and while we're waiting to load on up this second one and get everybody into the lobby Let's hear a little word from, I believe, Chef with a, with a beautiful little sponsorship video. Yes, yes, sir. Uh, we want to do, we do a live one, huh? We do a live oh, one. oh, you know what? Chef's got it locked yeah, down. Well, Chef, you know what? It's all you, man. I, I got a little pre-recorded stuff, you know, to, to give us some slack. Well, I'll give you a nice live one right here. So Dark Fusion Systems, all right? Reached out to them. Uh, a great buddy of mine. I've worked with him personally for quite a bit here. Uh, I have a mat right here in my hands from them uh gonna be getting a pc myself from them as well uh and speaking of the mats and the pcs they're gonna be giving a mat to each winner huge desk mat absolutely beautiful quality i've been using it for over a year absolutely love it uh their pcs are gonna get a hundred dollar off build coupon one on one whatever you want he's gonna make it happen uh each winner gonna get a hundred dollars off so right there is 400. We got the mats and we got the prize pool money, 2,500 put up from the venue. So a lot of stuff going towards the winners. But Dark Fusion, what are they? They are a amazing PC building company that has optional powder coating for your PCs. They have USA handmade power supply cables all their systems, top tier components, whatever you want to put in there, they're designed and assembled right in the USA, Milwaukee, Wisconsin, and all their builds have a one year warranty. So you definitely want to be checking them out. 
If you're the winner, for sure you got that coupon. Get it done up. And anyone else out there looking for a nice PC build, there's a lot of sketchy things going on out there. There's a lot of like really bad pre-builds out there. Uh, but if you want the top tier stuff, Dark Fusion, definitely where you want to be. Hey, absolutely. Ladies and gentlemen, I think you just witnessed a live commercial there coming on in from the gaming <laughs> chef. That was absolutely incredible. But don't go anywhere. We have the Pool A Round 3 for the Contender Fort Collins land uh, here in uh, for July coming up right after this.